well, Matt says he doesn't want his marriage to be a statistic. Whoa. Matt, what's going on? To be honest, uh, well, as you already know, I'm married. Yeah. Uh, it's been a year. This Saturday will actually be a year. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah. To be honest, though. And you, and you have a child? Yeah, we have a, that's honestly the reason we got married. Oh. On oh. the most part was over my that's daughter. Cool. Yeah. She's four months now, going on five the 19th. And she now, and your wife, the mother of your child, that beautiful child, suddenly wants you out of the house? Yes. And she, she didn't tell she you why? She told me to pack my skateboard, pack my video games, get the hell out of the house. Uh, pack and your skateboard? Yeah, I don't Could know that be how the that worked, but that, she told me to pack everything I had, get out two weeks ago. And Well, wouldn't I, you say why, honey? What did she say? I've texted and called her, Jerry. She doesn't answer me. Oh. But when she, what were you fighting about when she says, uh, get supposedly out? Supposedly I had an attitude problem with uh, her. Oh, oh. That's what at least she told me. Yeah. As she was telling me to pack my stuff and leave. So I skateboarded over to my friends. That's yeah. an hour away. Yeah. I had to get, out, get away from her. And so, honestly. You think the skateboard could be the problem? No. <laughs> I wish, as yeah. much as I wish, Yeah. but she just, honestly, I think it might be not just communication, but I, honestly, yeah, I do get an attitude with her every now and then, but yeah. everyone does. And you love her. I do. She is my heart and soul, Jerry. Yeah. I, I would do anything for this woman. Would you give up your I'd give up everything. Whoa. Because if you gave that up, you could take the bus to work. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But honestly, I, I would literally give up anything for that woman. Yeah. And you're here to tell her that. Yeah. I All am. right. Well, good for you. I hope it works. Here is your wife, mother of your child, Amanda. You know, I love you, Ron. <laughs> well, I just want to know what's, what's going on. Why don't you answer any of my texts, calls, anything? Honestly? I, I, I want to work us out. Like, I want to be there for the baby. I want to be there for you. I want to know what, what I have to do to fix this. Honestly? It's because you're a high school dropout. You don't have a diploma. You don't have your GED. You want the All right, what, what's, your, what's your high school diploma got you? A job that quit within three days you know and that ain't nothing i can i can go out and build a house i can do the electrician work i can do the plumbing work irrigation anything i will do anything just tell me what i got to do and i'll do it I want you to go out and get a job. I want you to spend That's more fair. time with me and the baby. I want you to give me more attention. I want you to treat me like a queen. And if I'm doing 15 hour shifts like I used to do, only coming home maybe for a little while just to sleep and then go right back to work, then don't, what? Don't get a job like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't wish to go work at no McDonald's making 7.25 an hour. Because, you know, that ain't gonna support you. That ain't gonna support my daughter. There's no way to support a family on that. And you can't say I'm wrong either on that one. You know what else doesn't support a family? Hmm. You going out from noon till 8.30 or longer at night, skateboarding, hanging out with your what? friends. Uh, and honestly, okay, I, I apologize. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I did have my license. Yes, I wouldn't have to ride a skateboard. I wouldn't have to walk. But I do go out. I do go out. I hunt jobs repeatedly. I put in application, at least 15 applications in a day. Well. If I have the chance to even get out. So, th there's something else going on. What is it, though? You want me to be honest? Yes. I, that's all I've ever. Honestly? That's all I've ever asked for. That's all I've ever asked for was you to be honest with me. All right, well, then here it is. Last weekend, I went out to a house party at my friend's house, 
and Zach was there. Me and him were talking and hanging out, so I started flirting with him. So I took him in the back room, I kissed him, and he got a So you know what? Oh. You know what? Where did he get I that? Was it him. on the shelf? What? I threw him on the bed. I got on top of him, and I him like a horse. Oh. Honestly, I hope, I oh, hope you're lying because, you know, that... You know, I, I will honestly, I wouldn't want my daughter around that. I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I apologize on the deepest that, you know, I'll take something that's not just mine, yeah. but yours too away from you. But, you know, I wouldn't want her around that at all. Zach doesn't, man, Zach couldn't even handle me being his friend at all when I li was still in the same city as him. He wouldn't come hang. He wouldn't do nothing. He always made time for his side chick. So, you know, if that's what you want to be to him, go for it. I, I won't bother with it. But I, I, let me just let you t know this. I love you with my heart and soul. I really do. But my mom at least raised me. If you love someone, let them go. If they come back, it's meant to be. If not, sorry. Go. Yeah. You want me to be honest, though? You, you disappointed me beyond anything. You you broke my heart. You, I thought I thought we could actually fix this. I thought we could work it out. And you've always been a disappointment for me. You have a child together, though. I assume you loved him at some point. I mean, yeah. Before we had our kid and everything. I mean, the only reason I got married to you anyways is because I got knocked up. Here's Zach. that out of you, man. My mom treated you like a son, and you stabbed me in the back? That's like stabbing her in the back. You know, she ain't even around no more. That's low for you. It's not my fault she came on to me. I didn't have to try. That, that's a disappointment for you, man. No, it just went to me. It just went to her. Nah, I treated you like a brother, man. You should have told her back off. Well, I apparently I wasn't your brother when you just left me two years ago and didn't moving or nothing. Nah, didn't have to, though. Apparently you was my best friend, so after that, well, I guess our friendship is worthless to you. You don't give a damn about well, my relationship. Anytime she's not around you, she's talking mad crap. I don't care. Like, honestly, I, I really trusted you, though, man. I can't believe you stabbed me in the back like that. Who's Casey? That's my girlfriend. Oh. There's Casey. You always push me away. How do I push you away? You always call me a, you know, a <laughs> all over a job. How could you do this to our fame? Well, I mean, I'll take care of you as much as I can, but apparently enough is, nothing is good enough for you. You said you loved me and that you cared about me and that you wanted to be with me. We've been together for three years. I do love you, but it's like every day you either bitch me about not having a job or something. I could have a damn job for two years, but you're still some, find some way of yelling at me about it. Make me feel like a, you know, a little scum about it. That's not good. I do love you though. I really do. I, the mouth and just the arguing and bickering back and forth constantly. Have you ever thought about how I feel? About how this makes me feel? With our friend? Yeah, he not, not much friendship there left anymore. It's, it's over. Friend. I don't even want to see him ever again. Are you two going to stay together? I want to. What's going to happen the next time some woman comes on to you? Oh, hell, she can stay at the damn door. I ain't answering it. <laughs> no, nah, but you seem to have answered it the last time. 
How am I supposed to believe that? How am I supposed to trust you now? What am I supposed to tell our son the reason that me and his daddy are split up and that he's in a broken home? What am I supposed to tell him? I guess we, we couldn't be together just because we could, I don't know, be happy together. Wow. We're always arguing so or bickering. You, you put me through three years just to turn right around and just make everything just... No, just, it, was, it was perfect the first two years. And after that, it literally started going downhill bad, fast. So it was honestly a matter of time before. So then why not just leave me? Why, why hurt me like that? Why hurt your son like that? Why put your son through that? Do you want to be with her? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I do love you, though. I love you, I, too. I want to try to work this out. I really do. I don't, I don't know, Zach. If you can cheat on me once, what makes me think that you're not going to do it again? I hate saying, Casey, if, she's, if he's willing to take a stab at me, don't you think he'll take a stab at you, though? He used to be a brother to me, and he yeah. took a stab on me like that with yeah. my wife. Apparently, she ain't your wife to you. No. Honestly, you know, she should have acted like that. She had she <laughs> She wears a relationship. Oh, you she's funny. She's got your damn vice grip. Oh, you're funny. And that's why I, I can guarantee you this. I don't whoop that ass once, and I'll go to hell, and I'll whoop it again, dude. Bring it. Bring it back. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.